As a new employee, you're eligible for a host of valuable benefits. While you have many choices to make, one of the most important is selecting your medical coverage. As we review your options, keep in mind that you only have 30 days from your hire date or the date you became benefits eligible to enroll in these benefits. After you watch this video, you can select the coverage that's best for you and your family by visiting hr.harvard.edu and clicking the PeopleSoft prompt at the top of the page. Ready to go? Let's start with a quick overview of your medical plan options. Your medical premiums are subsidized by Harvard, so you only pay a portion of the actual cost. In addition, most employee contributions are made on a pre-tax basis, which reduces your taxable income. At Harvard, you can choose from several types of medical plans offered through Harvard University Group Health Plan, also known as HUP, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts. Let's talk about each provider. Created specifically for members of the Harvard community, HUP offers adult primary and specialty care on campus as well as at Atrius Health locations. Because of this, you must have a Massachusetts address to choose a HUP medical plan. If you enroll in a HUP plan, you'll need to choose a primary care physician within the Harvard University Health Services or Atrius Health Provider Network, which includes Harvard Vanguard. If you have child dependents under age 26 who need pediatric care, you'll need to choose a pediatrician or family medicine practitioner in the BCBS HMO Blue of Massachusetts network, which includes Mount Auburn Pediatrics and Atrius Health. Visit hugh.harvard.edu to learn more. And Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts offers primary and specialty care and has the largest provider network in New England. As part of the Harvard community, you can use the Harvard University Health Services' three convenient on-campus locations for urgent care and take advantage of other non-medical services. Visit huhs.harvard.edu to learn more. In addition to choosing between HUPE and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts, you'll need to select the type of medical plan that best meets your needs. If you live in New England, you have two medical plan options. First, there's the Health Maintenance Organization, or HMO for short. Second, there's the Point of Service, or POS plan. And don't forget, you're only eligible to enroll in QP if you have a Massachusetts address. To help you decide which plan is right for you, we'll explore each plan. With the HMO, you select a primary care physician who coordinates your care and authorizes referrals to in-network specialists. However, out-of-network care is not covered, except in certain emergency situations. Have a doctor you really like? Then contact HUP or Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts to find out if your physician is part of their HMO network. With the POS plan, you also select an in-network primary care physician who coordinates your care. However, you have the flexibility to use out-of-network providers, but with higher out-of-pocket expenses. Live outside New England? Then you have one medical plan option offered through Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts, the Preferred Provider Organization, or PPO plan. For most care, it does not require a primary care physician referral and also provides the flexibility to use out-of-network providers at a higher out-of-pocket cost. Now let's talk dollars and cents. No matter where you live or which plan you choose, your in-network preventive care is 100% covered. That means that any annual physicals, well baby and well child visits, immunizations, and routine vision care appointments are free of charge. In the HMO, POS, or PPO plans, you'll have a copay for most in-network services and prescriptions. If you're a member of SEIU, your union also offers you the option to choose combined medical, dental, and vision coverage for you and your eligible dependents at no cost to you. Please note that registered domestic partners are not eligible for this coverage. 
For more information, please call 800-551-3225. Now that you know the ins and outs of your medical plan options, let's move on to your dental plan. As a Harvard employee, you can elect dental coverage through MetLife Dental's PDP Plus plan, which has an extensive provider network. You also have the flexibility to see an out-of-network dentist, though you may pay more. Your preventive care is 100% covered. That means you can receive cleanings and x-rays free of charge. After you meet your deductible, most other services are covered up to 75%. For further protection, a second level of coverage kicks in once you reach $3,000 in dental costs in a calendar year. You'll pay an additional $500 deductible and you'll be covered at the applicable rate with no maximum. Now let's discuss the vision plan. It's important to know that Harvard's medical plans cover routine eye exams and offer discounts on eyewear. However, if you'd like more comprehensive coverage, you can enroll in our Vision Care Plan from iMed. With the Vision Care Plan, you'll enjoy coverage for vision exams, frames, lenses, and contacts, as well as discounts on services such as laser eye surgery. Ready to move on to the next section? Let's talk about how you can help defray your medical and dependent care expenses with Flexible Spending Accounts, or FSAs. Harvard offers a Health FSA and a Dependent Care FSA. An FSA allows you to set aside money directly from your paycheck before taxes are taken out. Regardless of whether you are enrolled in one of Harvard's medical plans, you can elect the Health FSA you and your eligible dependents can use the Health FSA to pay for eligible medical, dental, and vision care expenses such as copays, deductibles, medical supplies, eyeglasses, and more. If you're a member of Local 26 and enroll in a Harvard Medical Plan, the university will make a $275 contribution to your Health FSA account. Finally, let's go over the Dependent Care FSA, a great benefit that covers various kinds of expenses. If you're caring for a young child or a disabled spouse or dependent adult, then you can set aside pre-tax money to pay for eligible dependent care expenses. That includes everything from daycare to after-school care to many types of summer camps. If you care for a dependent adult, this account may be used to cover in-home care or adult daycare programs. Just a reminder, the Dependent Care FSA does not cover health care expenses for a dependent. The Health FSA can be used for those costs. Wondering how much money to contribute to your health or dependent care FSA? Visit benstrat.com for a list of eligible expenses. Then consider how much you and your family have spent on those expenses over the past year. To help you estimate your expenses, you can use the FSA election worksheet on benstrat.com, now part of Voya Financial. That can help you ballpark how much money to contribute this year. But remember, FSAs are use it or lose it accounts. That means if you don't spend all the money in your account by the end of the annual grace period, you'll forfeit it. So be sure to think carefully before you select your contribution amount. If you have any questions about your medical, dental, or vision benefits or flexible savings accounts, simply review your benefits enrollment guide, including answers to frequently asked questions, or visit hr.harvard.edu slash health-welfare-benefits to learn more. And don't forget, that you only have 30 days from your hire date or the date you became benefits eligible to enroll in these benefits.